Hi everyone, it's wonderful to be a part of this series wherein I get to talk about my most favorite wild being, the snow leopards. But before we delve into that, let me introduce myself. I am uh, Ismail Sharif, an internationally displayed and published nature and wildlife conservation photographer. Along with that, I also lead photography expedition across the globe, especially and uh, more specifically for wildcats. At the same time, I am also a conservation photographer with Snow Leopard Trust, who are doing some phenomenal work in uh, working on snow leopard habitats across the 12 countries that they are found in. And uh, I am also a certified fine art printmaker. With that set aside, how many of you have been to a jungle or a forest before? I have always been obsessed with wildcats. And for over a decade, I have been wanting to document all 15 wildcats of India. I am more than halfway through. But uh, my favorite has always been snow leopards. What brought me to them was this phenomenal cover photo of uh, a snow leopard by Dhritiman Mukherjee on the Savers magazine in July 2012. Snow leopards are very fascinating beings that have adapted to such extreme temperatures and high altitudes and make it look like a walk in the park in such thick snow. One thing that stands about them is their camouflage. They will be right in front of you, but until they move, you might not even see them. It's amazing how they can actually achieve that. Let's get into their world of camouflage. This is one of the best examples of how a snow leopard is invisible right in front of you. Look for it. I hope you can find it. The coat of a snow leopard varies a bit in color based on its surroundings. It's off-white, sometimes a wee bit gray and sometimes a bit more yellowish. Here it's blending in even more because of the snow lodged on its fur during the blizzard. Let's move on. Typically, this is how the habitat of a snow leopard is when there is no snow, whether it is Hemis National Park in Ladakh or uh, Spiti in Himachal Pradesh. And this is what makes it even more difficult to spot them when they are resting. Did you find out where it is in this picture? Here you go. Right in the middle of the picture looking towards the left. Here is another one and a hint to finding it. It's not in the center. Here it is in a stalking position and was eyeing a small herd of ibex a little further away. Do you want to see what happens next? Did you notice how close the snow leopard was to the female ibex before it charged? That's how amazingly well they can camouflage themselves. Okay, for this one, you need to tell me how many snow leopards can you find in this picture. Here there is a mating pair at the bottom right, one cub at the top right, and another cub at the top left. So in total, four snow leopards. How many can you find in this picture? This is an easier one. The snow leopards are much bigger in size in this one compared to the previous picture. Here you go. Three snow leopards. A mother leading the way and her two cubs following her. All right, everyone. So here is the last and probably the toughest one. Find the snow leopard in this picture. You have to be very careful and pay a lot of attention to every single detail in this picture. There. You can only see the top of the head and its ears. Hope many of you spotted the snow leopards before seeing the answers to where they were. If you did very easily, then maybe you are needed in the field to help in conserving the species and also possibly film and photograph them, their behavior and help us all understand more about them. Snow leopards are magnificent beings and they are also referred to as the ghost of the mountains for where they come from and where they go is still being solved. There are many organizations who are working to help conserve the species and thankfully many of them are getting great results. 
I work with one such fantastic organization called the Snow Leopard Trust. They work in multiple countries where snow leopards are found and have been phenomenal in reaching out to people and sharing the knowledge gained with them as well. This helps in managing and mitigating the animal-human conflict. The more they know about the snow leopards, the more they will be better prepared for it. Out of the 12 countries that snow leopards are found in, I have seen the maximum of them in Hemis National Park, Ladakh and Spiti in Himachal Pradesh. They are found in other states too like Uttarakhand, Kashmir and Sikkim but my expeditions there haven't been successful yet. If you are more inclined towards wildlife and nature and you would like to make a difference in conserving and protecting our nature, then you should consider joining organizations like the Snow Leopard Trust and UNDP. They are doing brilliant work in the field of conservation. I hope you have enjoyed today's session and that it was a bit more meaningful. Thank you.